What's good, everyone? This is the core circuit. It ties everything together. Get the core ready. Hike past the kettlebell back. Five swings each side. Starting with the right side. We're gonna switch. Get five on the left side. After this, we're gonna lob the kettlebell up, as you'll see. And we are going to get 10 windmills on each side. So you don't need to, you know, snatch it up like I just did, but just get it up there somehow. We're gonna do 10 windmills. Two, take it slow. No need to go as low as I'm going. Keep the core tight and engaged, back straight, looking up at the kettlebell. Switch. We get 10 windmills on the other side. Starting to feel it now. After this, we're going to get on the floor with the kettlebell and start really getting into the core. Bring it down, set the kettlebell down, get on the butt, pick it up, put your thumbs through the hoop like that and keep your hand, your arms straight, legs straight, straight as they can be and you're just going to do crunches, bringing the kettlebell to the legs, squeezing the abs, pressing the lower back against the floor. Don't worry too much about how this looks or whatever, just feel the burn in your core. I'm getting about 10 of these. Do as many as you can. Come up, now we're gonna do some Russian twists. So keep that core nice and stable. We're gonna get about 20 of these. I'm almost losing my balance right there. Keep that core stable, breathe out as you turn. <laughs> like that, it'll help you really engage the abs. Keep those legs straight. Keep going. All right. Now, put your thumbs through the hoops and we're gonna touch the bell to our toes, keeping the legs straight, trying to just use our abs to push the bell up. Straight arms, straight legs. Getting about 10 to 20 of these. You can do 20, great. Take it slow though. All right, bring it down. Now we're gonna do some kind of opposite knee to opposite elbow, like mountain climbers. So get in a plank push-up position, stay tight and bring your opposite knee to your opposite elbow like so. Getting about 20 of these guys. Go at your pace though. Breathing out when the knee touches the elbow. It's really important to breathe out while you use your core because that'll really engage the deeper abdominal muscles and give you those real shreds. Pick up the kettlebell. We're gonna do some more kind of just crunches here, pressing that lower back against the floor, keeping everything tight, engaged, and getting that simultaneous lower ab workout with the upper core workout. Keep grinding. Now we're gonna get some Russian twists. We go for 
like 40 of these, but go at your own pace, do as many as you can do. Make sure your head follows the bell. Jam these out, burn it out. And we are done. That's it.